and welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Gail. I'm Gail. Cooking with Gail, it's Cooking with Gail. Gail's in the kitchen and she's cooking. And today we're going to be making Julia Child's beef bourguignon. Mmm. The first thing we're going to do is cut up some thick cut bacon. Why this bacon, you ask? It was the cheapest one. Okay, the recipe calls for eight ounces. This is 16 ounces, so like half a pack. Oh my gosh, it says peel here, but cut it up. Okay, this is not very Hannibal. We're gonna put this into our pot. This feels like a lot of bacon. It's, it makes a lot, you know? It's gonna get smaller when it gets cooked, so. Okay, now that it is on the oven stove, we're gonna turn it on low heat. We want it to cook super slow so it renders all the fat out. Save the bacon for a later date. Let's go over what kind of meat to use. So I just got a chuck roast, which is what it calls for. So the thing about chuck roast, um, be sure to check them thoroughly before you leave the store because some <sighs> left some bacon over here. One time I got a chuck for beef bourguignon and it had blood spots all through it. Uh, blood spots won't hurt you, but it could make the meat taste um, like liver. You wanna cut this up into one inch cubes. I don't even know where to start. This is big, this is a big cut of meat. Okay, so one inch cubes. They don't have to be perfect. You wanna leave on whatever fat is on there. We're going to take our beef cubes. We're going to generously salt and pepper them. Bang! Oh, I inhaled some pepper. I'm gonna put this on sport mode. Get them ready for searing once we take our bacon off. Salt and pepper. Okay, massage that in some. Oops. There we go, okay. Now we can see the beef. Say the beef, say the beef, say the beef. Oh, goodness. So while our bacon is still browning up, we wanna get it fairly crispy to render all that fat out. We wanna go ahead and cut a whole onion. This is gonna make me cry. Oh, cut it into halves. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Da, 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 da. So now we're gonna peel some carrots. I mean, I like carrots okay. I'm not like obsessed. Like given the choice between a vegetable and a carrot, I'll probably choose a different vegetable. Maybe a nice squash. So we wanna cut our carrots into, oh, you can't see the carrots for the carrots until like one inch. Because our bacon is lightly browned, we're gonna remove it from the heat. You're supposed to use a slotted spoon, but I don't have one of those. Okay, now in this fat, we're going to add our beef cubes. Try not to overcrowd them. Oh. Okay, now don't touch them. Okay, now that they're getting golden brown, we're gonna flip them. And now we're gonna remove the beef, put it on the plate with the bacon. Oh. Okay, so I've reduced Oh, I've got more beef. Pretty. Okay, so now we've got our plate of meat. Oh, we're gonna add in our onions, carrots, some more onions. Onions and carrots are in here. You wanna get them till they're lightly brown. Carrots are slightly softened. More salt and pepper. Two tablespoons of garlic. So our vegetables are out of our Dutch oven. We're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Now that we've gotten our vegetables off and we've got a lovely fond in our pan, let's talk alcohol. You're gonna use a Pinot Noir wine. You wanna avoid wines like Cabernet Sauvignon. You can also use a nice Merlot. Here we go. You're also gonna be using a cognac. Now you don't wanna skip on the cognac. I like to add a little bit more than the recipe calls for. So with wine, you wanna do three cups. 
gonna add a bit more. I like my beef bourguignon to be very alcoholic. It just tastes better. If you douse anything in wine long enough, it's gonna be delicious. So with cognac, I'm using this kind of cognac. I'm gonna go ahead and do like three quarters of a cup. Yum, yum. They say, don't ever cook with wine that you wouldn't drink. I'll drink about anything. If someone ever tells you like, no, I'm not gonna drink that wine you bought. It's too cheap. You shouldn't be their friend. It tastes like a, like a good deal, like a bargain. Oh yes, I'll check that. It's great. For deglazing, I'm gonna take all the fun bits that I've collected. Actually pouring this into a different bowl because we're going to flour our beef and then put it back in the oven. So we have our beef back in our Dutch oven. We're gonna take some flour. Goodness. Okay. We're gonna lightly flour it. We're gonna mix it all around. It's gonna help it get real crispy. Flour it up. Flour the beef up. See the flour is like morphing into the beef. We're gonna put this back into the oven just for maybe five minutes. <laughs> okay, so we've put the, what? okay. We've put our little beef cubes back in with the flour. They're toasting. Our beef is all nice and toasty. It's been 10 minutes. The flour is all toast, toasted them up. We're gonna turn our oven down to 325. This is a braised meat, so it's gonna slow cook. Okay, we're adding in everything back in. Make sure the beef is on the bottom. Add in our bacon and all these yummy beef juices. Oh, goodness. We've added back in our burgundy and red wine from before. I'm tired. I will finish this tomorrow. Hello, it is a new day. So my beef wasn't just soaking in the broth burgundy cognac glaze all night, which would have made it probably too soggy. Um, I separated the two and we're starting from there. Okay, so we've got it almost done. We're about to put it in the oven. Oh, my bay leaves. One bay leaf. I want one tablespoon of thyme, about two tablespoons of oh, oh, tomato paste, beef bouillon cube, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Although you're just gonna use thyme, don't don't put that other stuff in there. Tablespoon of thyme. Put that aside. Tomato paste, which has to be pierced. Ooh. Got this on a simmer, so everything's aromatic. Do some thyme, a bouillon cube, and like two and a half tablespoons of tomato paste. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Ooh. Okay, so our oven has been preheated to 325. We're going to take our. Oh. I'm just gonna. Goodbye. So. Our Dutch oven with all the beef, yummy beef bourguignon is in the oven. Uh, it's 3.25 for three hours. <sighs> this would be the time for those three hours you could make mashed potatoes, which is what I may do. Probably gonna watch some Shameless, Seinfeld, probably more in line with what I'm going to do. Let it cook for three hours, stir it occasionally. So now we're gonna add in our mushrooms. Um, the recipe just calls for white. I haven't tried it with portobello. Portobello, I'm supposed to cut them into quarters, but for some reason I got these. Technically, Julia Child's recipe also calls, calls for pearl onions. There's something in my eye. Let's have some butter in a skillet. We're going to add our mushrooms into this. It's on medium heat. Oh! Keep the mushrooms moving. Go ahead and salt them. I add just a bit of thyme, so getting nice and soft. Once you're done with your mushrooms, you're going to move them to a different, or to a plate, because we're going to need to use this to. What do we need to use this for? Reduce the sauce. I'm going to deglaze the pan with like just a bit of red wine. Well, we're going to let the wine cook out a bit more, and then we're going to move it to a plate. We are about to strain our sauce into it. It's empty. Take it off medium heat. 
Beef bourguignon is done. Ooh, it smells good. Smells like beefy wine. My kitchen is an absolute mess now. So we need something to put some beef in. I run out of bowls, so we're going to use um, a free skillet. Mmm, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna use some tongs and get as much beef and vegetables out as you can. Put it in a separate bowl, then we're straining this liquid. It's very good. Yum. Okay, so now we're just gonna do some of this action. Make your bay leaf out. We're gonna see if this works. I'm pretty sure this is what I did last time. That doesn't mean that it worked. Okay, yeah. Put this yummy beef stuff. No, you guys can't see anything because of that. Touch oven. Okay. Oh, moving this aside. Oh, I don't know where. Scoop, scoop, scoop. For medium high heat, we're going to reduce this down. Now that it's thick enough and can coat the back of a spoon, I would say I would say that's coated. Move some heat. I portioned it out two other times. It, it's very filling. Um, and then I portioned the sauteed or the uh, condensed sauce in two other portions as well. Gonna freeze it. Yum. Some more of the super cheap wine. Let's try it. Mmm, yum. Definitely douse it in sauce. Why do you want to move on? That's $714 in the bag. Bumble in here. Silly George.